Hey folks, Larson Halleck here, the superior Larson in all respects, physical, mental, career-wise, and morals. This is the second time we have a Fail Sons update, the first of course being Richard Spencer's hissy fit. Basically, whenever there's a major update on one of these wonderful people, or any of the people that I've done videos on, I'll do a video on it. What constitutes a major update is a bit discretionary, it has to be something a bit bigger than, like, Charlie Zelenoff bought a sandwich today. Really depends on whether or not I can make it funny or not. The news that Nathan Larson, everybody's favorite fail son, loser, House of Burgesses candidate, and gibbering lunatic, pedophile, white supremacist, is getting carted off to jail, is a big update. But we are getting a little ahead of ourselves, aren't we? What has Nate the Great been up to since we last met him? Well, between 2019 and now, Nate opened up a couple more websites that are even more horrific than Incelocalypse. Rapey.co, which I presume is pretty direct in its mission statement. I did not go on the website because I would rather not get to know my local FBI agent on a first name basis. And then there's Francels, which I don't even know what the hell that means. What is a Francel? Is it like a French incel? I didn't even know that was a thing. But then again, the president of France is a chode who's only slept with one woman in his life, who's also his language arts teacher. Ah, damn shame. What the hell happened to France? They just have politicians dying of orgasms in office. Jeez, make France great again. <laughs> anyway, these sites were taken down by people reporting them for some strange reason I just can't comprehend, and he rebranded. The sites were in order, nearcells.org, forcedbanana.com, prorape.com, make sure to put that hyphen, and then what we have now. His websites have security prompts in which feeling that there's a problem with a man raping his daughter gets you rejected immediately. Fucking normies. One of his site's moderators has the screen name Gilderay, as in the pedophile serial killer from Medieval Times, but on screenshots provided by Kiwi Farms, which is where I'm getting all my screenshots for obvious reasons, I can't help but notice that most of the thread's last posts are either Nathan or Gil. Perhaps we're in a Eurasian tiger situation, where the entire form is just one sick creep playing with himself. God, I hope so. Then again, maybe not, since there seems to be debate about whether or not quote-unquote Jewish therapists cause people to hate pedophiles, and I don't think even Nate Larson is insane enough to talk to himself. Actually, come to think of it, this is really kind of weird in and of itself, because if you were to go on, say, a neo-Nazi website, they all say that the Jews promote pedophilia. In fact, being pedophiles and threats to young children has historically been something that the Jews have been accused of. But now Jews are also causing people to not want to fuck little girls? Unless... Oh my god, the Jews have opened up doorways to parallel dimensions! They really do have superpowers! In all seriousness, that's the horseshoe theory. Reactionaries and extreme lolbertarians, lolberts, are distinct from libertarians, coming from radically different political viewpoints to agree on hating Jews. I would also like to point out that in addition to doing all this garbage under his garbled username, Lucos Tite or whatever, Nathan also espouses his <clears throat> politics under his own name, in his hilariously bad congressional runs, and in interviews whenever given half the chance. Like, Who's the youngest? Uh, what's it, what, what's the age of the youngest person you've ever been attracted to? Uh, like, like want to mess around with, like maybe, or like to be curious about, like maybe like Todd Branch. Oh God, Nathan, what the fuck, man? You know, most pedophiles are at least smart enough to do this anonymously on the dark web. So not only is Nathan Larson morally evil. He's also a blithering imbecile. And this proves my theory that the people who are totally without restraint and morality, those who are totally on the Dark Triad, they're not the cool hedonist Armani suit Christian Grey s and guy that the Manosphere twerps all jerk off over. No, you want to see somebody totally on the Dark Triad? Somebody who's totally given up the moral imperative? Yeah, Nathan Larson and Chris Chan are that. Anyway, let's get some positive news. Nathan has gotten arrested. Sir, could you possibly look any creepier? Also, LOL comb over! What happened in the arrest? Apparently, a young girl got in contact with Nathan, because I'm sure this guy really turns on the girls, and he slowly groomed her over the internet, eventually meeting her in Fresno, California. 
and planning to fly her back to his horrifying rape shack on his parents' property in Virginia. He convinced her to leave her home at 2 in the morning, which makes me wonder where her parents were in all this. And for that matter, I wonder what's wrong with her parents that would make this 12-year-old girl want to run away with a complete stranger to begin with. A complete stranger who, oh yes, is a creepy, balding, 40-year-old loser. They had a layover in Denver where Nate was arrested by an FBI task force and the Denver police. The girl, who had been instructed this whole time to wear a mask and to act like she was a deaf mute, was unharmed and went back to her family. While investigating Nathan's home in Virginia, his elderly father, Arthur Larson, apparently assaulted a Homeland Security agent, which makes me wonder what he's hiding in the house. I mean, if you need me to get some shovels and start digging, I'll do it. The trial began on the 24th of December. Nathan is looking at life in prison, child sex trafficking, possession of child pornography, kidnapping, and more. Ladies and gents, I've criticized the American penal system on many occasions, but for felony offenders like this, he deserves the full extent of penal punishment. It might be good for Nathan, actually. I mean, at the very least, in prison, he won't be an incel for much longer. Yeah, but seriously, pedos are the lowest of the low in the prison system, that much I do know. He's going to get an absolute dick kicking once he goes to Gen Pop. But, sad to say, even complete monsters like this son of a bitch have fans, which should be heartening news for anybody wanting to be a YouTuber, and these fans are lobbying to free <coughs> wrongly incarcerated Nathan Larson. Like this, uh, guy who looks more like a goblin than any human being I've ever seen. Um, one of, the, one of these things is I thought of, uh, what if we had, like, a little... A uh, farm pen and that like little children were like animals and then uh, they, they were like I, I live in a rural area and there's lots of farms everywhere so I thought like what if they were in a big farm and then like you just threw candy at them and they all came like um, like sheep or cows or whatever put your backs into it you scum you knows what the dark lord will do if he's gold breaking <clears throat> I don't know why I keep doing voices I'm not a good impressionist anyway Another fan even made a rap about the noble political prisoner, Nathan Larson. And it might be the worst rap song or, hell, the worst piece of music, period, I've ever heard. Hey, this is Nolan. Oh, sorry, I missed your message. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Yeah, free my nigga Nathan, yeah, the cries go around the nation, for he must be freed before the migration, yeah, Cunny is a human right, free him for the judge has a fright, shoot out with the judge in a gunfight, Larson sit tight, fuck the police and the judge too, those niggas are the niggas who did this to you, Larson must be freed through and through, the judge is a Jew and I'll show up with the crew. Yeah, Jail Bay County represent, we lurking across the internet The feds trying to fuck us over, smoke them cause they a threat And still support you, era day and era night We is the ones that know the judge is a parasite You gotta get freed right this instant And if you're not on God, the judge will go missing, yeah And cells are persistent Nathan, if they don't free you, then be resistant Hey. Yeah, 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 ay, ay, yeah, 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 free the homie, God bless the judge, better reassess the song is a protest, share it on the internet, Larson won't be forgot, Larson was a big shot, hope the cops fucking ride, I hate them a whole lot, mix me to a big dot, fuck the swap, ay, free the homie, he didn't, he didn't do nothing, they keep a brother down Free Nathan, free Nathan, y'all, free Nathan, y'all Jail Bay County, Jail Bay County, JB County, let's go free him. I mean, ignoring the absolute moral repugnancy of supporting a pedophile It's that t -t 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 mumble shit they do nowadays, and I can't stand that Also, nice Photoshop, dumbass When I do stuff like that, like the googly Aristotle or whatever I do it as a joke and even my ironically bad MS Paint graphic designs are better than that. Well, I can't do anything to Nathan Larson himself, being in prison and all. I'm gonna take my anger out on this terrible mumble garbage. I feel- no, scratch that. I know I could rap better than this dork. So know what? I'm going for it. 
me. I'm going to rap about Nathan Larson too, a guy who hasn't listened to hip-hop consistently in the past roughly 20 years. I'm making a diss track, and I'm coming for both Nathan Larson and his idiotic fans. I'm going to be spitting bars on pedophile scum. I'm Larson Halleck, and be on the lookout for my dope rhymes next week. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hello, are you a fan of Larson Halleck and the Barbaric Gentleman? Of course you are, otherwise you wouldn't be watching. Would you like to help the channel grow? Here's how you can. You can go to Patreon.com and pledge some money, joining the ranks of the illustrious heroes you'll find at the end of the video. You can also go to PayPal.me slash Larson Halleck to give me some money. Or you can follow me on social media, at Larson Halleck on Twitter and Instagram. I don't use right-wing grifter sites like Gab and Parlor because they suck. You can also buy my books. The links to do so are in the video description. And of course, please subscribe and spread the word. That name again is Larson Halleck, and I hope you enjoyed the video.